Oh my god! Hello. Hello! There's a Kiro and a bear. How you doing? Animus! Made it on time with soup! <gasps> soup. Lucky Miss has soup. How oh dare come into my house with soup. Bear's getting pudding. Oh my word. What is it with you all and having nice things? Good. Spooky mask. Hello! Jealous for you and your soup and your pudding. Then get soup, Kira. It's probably a bit early for soup. But get soup! In preparation for the time when you're gonna need, need soup. Get soup. Welcome back to Zorro World. How we all doing? We well? We good? You deserve good things. You deserve good things. We continue with crumbs. Well, eventually. Oh yeah, spooky mask. <laughs> so last time, um, after quite a lot of faff, why are the screaming death masks on his bag? Don't know. Let's have a look. It's been a while since we've said hello. We've got a few masks. Let's see what he's got to say. Hello, Christy. What have we got? Uh, yeah, that's, that's a bit of a scary one up there. That's kind of Kabuki-esque as Mario. Uh, kind of a creepy smile, that one. I think that one's an evil clown. That's yeah, pretty, pretty evil. Uh, a bird, maybe? Because why not? Yes. Hey, do you like my spooky mask? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the Gibdog dog mask, isn't it? And that's a fine mask. It's filled with the love of a father and child. <laughs> well done some good work. Keep up the pace. Yes, this mask is full of love. Uh, other masks we have, we got recently, include these. Like, the Skelly Bob. That mask! That's the captain's hat, isn't it? It's not a mask, it's a hat! It's a splendid thing, it earns the respect and sworn allegiance of legions of soldiers. It's not the mask I'm looking for there, so screw you. This one! Hmm, that's the Gatto's mask. If you have that mask, you must be one with quite a bit of courage. Fortunately, it's not the mask I was looking for. Why Why do you think I have courage? Because I, I won a horse race. <laughs> That's what I did. How's the Christie? Is the Christie good? Also, everyone else. Uh. Sad man. Dancy boy. Mmm, mm, that mask. It's the circus leader's mask, isn't it? <laughs> yes. This is a fine mask. It's filled with the feelings of tenderness left behind in the back of one's heart. <laughs> well done some good work. Weird dancey thing. Mmm, that mask. It's Kamado's mask. It is a fine mask. It is filled with the joy a teacher has in finding a good student. <laughs> well done some good work. Okay, sure. This is the joy of teaching, everybody. This is this 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 is the joy of teaching. Don't forget that. I'm saying that's not the mask I'm looking for. It's the same energy as the princesses in another castle. Exactly. What's made here in time with your soup? <gasps> what? It's just cold and has chocolate bits. Best soup. Everyone has good soup. That's why you refuse to learn math. Uh, yeah. So we got we got this, which and and here we've got this one, the mummy one, um, and that gives us access. Uh, well, that, that I don't know what this gives us access to, but there there was a well with some mummies at the bottom of it, so maybe the, maybe it'll help with that. I don't know. We'll find out. So let's go there. Definitely the vibe, yeah, exactly. Cereal. Mmm, best soup. Go be their daddy. What?
Also, we started a new day because I spent a lot of time trying to do things last time and it was a mess. Fine. Yeah, I do. Yes. <laughs> I watched, uh, re watched an episode of Inside Number Nine today while I was working. Um, called uh, Wuthering Heist, which is a d cross between Commedia dell'arte and a heist film. Um, do I have to get the water back to do this? I don't know, let's find out. Um, as a consequence, it's very silly, but there is a character in that who refers to another character as Daddy. Um, in a purely sexual context. Um, <laughs> It's very good. It's also, it's also, I recommend Inside Number Nine, but most of the time I'm hesitant to recommend it because it's got quite dark themes. That episode, not so much. The reason I would hesitate to recommend that episode is because it has so many English references. <laughs> There's like one sequence where someone's hurt their foot and they're like, oh no, no, I'm never gonna get the trials at Crystal Palace. And another character says, well, they might take you at Millwall. And like, no one outside of England's gonna know what that means. <laughs> I, however, love. Um, still really want to watch it. If if there's anything, if you have any personal triggers, um, they prob there is probably an episode involving it. So let me know what things you want to avoid and I will tell you what episodes to avoid. It's an anthology show, so you can just skip an episode. It doesn't matter. Not for the non-English bit. I, I love it. It's just got a lot of the jokes rely on knowing English things. I still recommend the episode Wuthering Heist. It's one of my favourites. But... Um, Spiders. Is there an episode with spiders? I don't think so. Surely there is somewhere. No, I have to have a think about that. I can't think of one. Dog's dying. Uh, uh, a, a Quiet Night In. Second episode of series one. Um. Hello, I can talk to the mummy. Leave it. Leave it. Leave me something delicious to chomp on. Something that sprouts when it's watered. Beans! Preferably five of them. <laughs> now you're getting demanding. The memory's insane. I really like inside number nine. It's good. Um, I don't have five beans for you, but I can, I can get I can get that done, right? Um, is this like just a, the well of fetch quests? <laughs> Leave it. Leave me something blue that bestows health. Okay, there, we, we, there was someone nearby who sells a blue potion, so we can do that. Fear lots of things, have many triggers, you can't force yourself, uh, you can force yourself past it. Speaking of, I also watched an episode of, uh, an episode which was called Once Removed. That episode has a character who has dementia, so if that is, if that is an issue, avoid that. Preferably five of them, dipped in chocolate and sea salt. <laughs> But yeah, any given episode of Inside, well, almost any given episode of Inside Number Nine has something in it that people, you know, could be a problem. It, it, is, a, it is a show that goes places. Um, but it is also very interesting, very well written, and uh, occasionally very funny. <laughs> In fact, actually, the Wuthering Heist episode references the fact that there are people outside of Britain that are watching the show. There's a lot of fourth wall breaking in that one. So it's a good time. Um, what? I need money. What's a good way of getting money? Because I need to buy beans and I need to buy potions. Um... All you know is they have a desk in hell. One of them has a desk in hell, the other one's a Nazi. Cameos. Good omens. Um Beans! How how about Oh that involves blowing something up and I need fifty well, why don't I just, I've, I've got it's like seven hundred quid at the bank, what am I doing? <laughs> Also, I rewatched an episode, which is my favorite episode, and yet again, it made me cry. Um, so does that. <laughs> this is a comedy show. Beans! 
beans. We need beans. Hello? Hello? Can I have my money, please? Thank you. What's this? Do you need something? The drill. Excuse me, let me take a look at you. Crumbs! 812. Sure, I'll take 200 of that. Why not? I don't know how much I need. Focus on something else for a second and Miss is asking for feet pics. I can't remember why, I'll be honest. This noise is still happening. There we go. Um... A relation of M. What? What? <laughs> What's it doing? Beans. Oh, what's the quickest way to make money? Um, oh, is that a quick way to make money? I don't think people pay for pictures of my feet. Miss just likes feet. Do -do -do. Um, right, let's... There's Pokemon Vore all over again. Is it? Is that what's going on here? I'll go this way. Why can't you have an owl by the the Deku Palace? What's wrong with them? Why can't they get an owl? No, do the... Thanks. <laughs> oh, just about. I don't know where I'm going. It's game sound design, it's, it's a thing. No, this is it. Uh, oh god, camera. No, okay, well, there we go. <laughs> Alright, this time, fly. Eating tentacles are perfectly normal kinks, if you say so. <laughs> you know, my kink is. Sharona. And she did the kit. Who did my Sharona? Was that the kinks? <laughs> I think it was the kinks. That joke might work, it very much depends on some fact checking. <laughs> The knack! Oh, it was the knack. I knew it was something beginning with K. <laughs> Bugger. What did the, what did the kinks do? <laughs> There's two Ks and an N. It's basically the same band. Got those both of those things, so that makes you uncomfy. We're not certain he's got feet, he's got shoes. Kings made music. Oh, that's what it's called. Keep forgetting. Dedicated follower of fashion, Waterloo Sunset. Lola! That's probably what I'm thinking of. Lola, Sharona. Again, it's all very similar. Yes, 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 yes. I'm here for beans. Five beans dipped in chocolate and sea salt. Well, this is a predicament. Oh, good. You really got me? Yeah. Good songs. Right, beans! Give me all beans, please. 
Also, one day we will finally um, work out how to use those beans on the cliff. Kink are good, do recommend. Miss recommends kinks, everybody. I recommend the knack. That's five, but I'll get a couple for luck, why not? Marvellous. Uh, while I'm here, I get a bottle of water, why not? Well, I've got two beans, let's get two bottles of water. I need at least one bottle to get the potion that I need for the other mummy, but... Otherwise? You like this jingle? <laughs> uh, right, so... Now we fly... Back to Akana. So we all fought there. I was about to say bears could also be a king, but they're, they're more like a type, I guess. What's the what's the, what's the, the barrier between a, a kink and a type? I don't really know. Again, not my area of expertise. <laughs> Probably wandering into realms I shouldn't be uh, Pokemonos into, if you pardon the expression. <laughs> you are both. <laughs> Oops. Jump up. Jump. Yeah. <laughs> That's the guy who wants to steal my sword. I think. I don't know. I'm assuming so. <laughs> right, you. You. Oh yeah, we, there's a thing here as well for a bomb. <laughs> not, not for a bomb. Requires a bomb. Hang on, I'll make a note of that because I'm forgetting absolutely bloody everything in this game. <laughs> Did it pan? Oxford Dictionary says, countable, informal, often disapproving. An unusual feature in which a person's character, oh, in a character's person, in a person's character or mind, especially one that does not seem normal. Really? Countable, uncountable, a person's sexual, personal sexual taste considered unusual by most people. These tastes in general, sexual kinks and fetishes. That first definition is just like quirk. <laughs> a part of your character that doesn't seem normal. <laughs> It's just me then, I guess. I am. I am kink. Um. Anyway, give me a potion. What? Do, do, what? Do you want a bottle? I can't remember what you said. Here's a bottle. Do you want a bottle? What? Do you want? Do business. He breathes, listening to the sound of waves. Go to business. What? Know what I mean? Oh, I okay. So it's because I'm a Zora. So he's he's part of the um thingy quest. There we go. Uh, no more about sexual stuffs because of trying to figure out your sexuality than one would think an asexual would. Oh no, don't worry. They. Asexuality is basically going through life going, is that me? No. Is that, is that me? No. And then eventually somebody points out that zero is a number. Um, uh, figured out you're egosexual, you think. I don't know what that means, but hooray for learning things about yourself. Oxford Dictionary is a bit off with that. It's Oxford, they're weird though. They still have diesel trains. Um, having kinks is normal and fine, as is not having kinks. Exactly. 
Wikipedia says, in human sexuality, kinkiness is the use of a non-conventional sexual practices, concepts, or fantasies. The term derives from the idea of a bend in one's sexual behaviour, to contrast such behaviour with straight or vanilla sexual mores and proclivities. Honestly, the thing I take issue with that the most... Oh, I'm just going to teleport. The, the thing I take issue with that and the most is the, when people use the word vanilla to mean plain. <laughs> vanilla tastes great, alright? <laughs> vanilla is not plain, it is a flavouring. How dare they? <laughs> what is a ego sexual? Um, I will break it up into a e ego sexual. So you are attracted to people who don't have an ego. That is not correct, <laughs> but it's fun to theorize. <laughs> And down we go! Boom. And this, this is why I called the stream uh, Wellentine's Day, because we're going in a well. That's, I, that's my <laughs> comedic chops right there. Cool. Six years of streaming. All right. Um. So, one of you wanted things, and one of you wanted beans. Potion. Potion and beans. What a night in. All right. <clears throat> you, what did you want? Leave it. Leave me something delicious, beans! There you go, here's five beans. Ah, this, this! I bear you no remorse! So you shouldn't, I gave you beans! Oh, let's see what's in here. Drip, drip. Ah! Freezing bats! It's definitely something Robin said at some point. Very dark. Freezing. Nice. Come back. You, this is all your fault. Spicy beans. Okay, so they want me to do something with this fire in here, because they're giving me infinite sticks. Uh, it's when you still get aroused by sexual stimuli, but don't actually want to experience sex with anyone else. Oh yeah, that sounds boring. Uh, fantasize about sexual things often in an unrealistic manner, but wouldn't uh, want actual sex. Fantasies are often from a third person perspective. Interesting. That's fair. Finally, glad you found that out. Yeah. I Ego Five. My favourite Louis Baker song. Lou Baker, not Louis Baker. There's a hand on the ceiling. There it is. I like the Ace Umbrella. It's got pretty colours. I've j oh, I took the mask off. The one I'm putting it on. Stop it! I'm your friend. I have a mask. <laughs> More things. Do something deliciously fresh. What does that mean? What's... what? What are they doing to me? It's... don't worry about it. <laughs> hey, it's purple! That's pretty cool. What was that? They, they jump on you. It's fine. If you don't have it, I have no need for you away! Something deliciously fresh. Okay, that's very vague. You, what do you want? Leave it! They all want something. Leave me something that makes a blinding flash, preferably ten of them. Okay, deco dance? Oh good, I have eleven. Ah, oh, this is a bet you know him all. Don't know why they're all old. They'll be mummified young. Uh, okay, so this is now fire. Da da da. I am the god of hellfire. Camera in this place is not fantastic. Well, no. Okay, fine. Is everyone? Oh, that, that's it's trap. Cool. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, bugger. Bugs. Speaking of buggers, is a bug deliciously fresh? <laughs> Let's find out. 
Yeah, we can do it without one of these. So that had a siren song every month. I'm, I am so sexless that the only people who are interested in is watching me stream are asexual. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, do you want... Are you my mummy? Do you want bugs? Oh, hands back. Money, though. Is a bug deliciously fresh? No, okay. Well, maybe someone else will want it. Who knows? They put them in here, so it might be important. Don't know. Keep forgetting I have a shield, because I'm used to playing Dark Souls where I never use a shield. Wasn't lying when you said the pretty much. Entrance. Ah! Hey, Jim! Wasn't lying when you said pretty much everyone in chat with some flavour of Ace a couple of Sundays ago. It's, it's inexplicably. inexplicable. Oh. Hey, Jim, how you doing? Uh, right, another couple here. Um, not really paying attention to where I'm going. What do you want? Leave it! Leave me something warm that can melt ice and quench one's spirits. Do, do, I, do, I, do I think I have anything like that, do I? Blue fire? We haven't found that yet. I guess no. <laughs> Soup! How dare you, Kiro? How dare you? We're chatting ace nonsense. Yeah, pizza! <gasps> Eat the pizza. Oh, I didn't read what you said. I'm terribly sorry. Try again. Pizza! It's soup on bread. What more can you want? Tomato soup on bread. Ten refreshing blasts. Excuse me, sir. This is an asexual chat. Do I, need, do I need... I have ten bombs. I do have ten bombs. Whoops! Back up. Sorry. 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 <laughs> Wrong button. <laughs> Chunky tomato soup on bread! With some cheese melted in it. Uh... Oh, this is... Bombs. What do I get? Entrance. This is a weird place. Um... This continues to be a weird place. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Dead hand? No. Ghost. Easy ghost. We fought one of you already. We had to do it to get a bottle when we thought we were getting a mask. They're cute! I, I really like the ghost designs in these games, the pose. They're very good. There we go. The rule of six. Smash! Oh. Maybe I need this. Sure, we're just gonna collect everything in bottles. <laughs> It's a nice chat, we have soup, soup, chocolate soup, and pizza soup. Excuse me? Excuse me, Rimbus. Thank you. There, uh, you have to use the bottle. I got a big po! This may lead to something good. Ow. <laughs> Four kinds of soup. You know how minestrone has, like, bits of pasta in it? Well, I just had a very chunky minestrone. <laughs> okay, we got that. Uh, oh, oh, this was lit up for a second. It's not anymore. Um, you, what, you wanted something hot and refreshing, which I don't think I have. I don't have any soup. Uh, there was somebody at the front who wanted stuff. Oh, I took the mask off. I was supposed to put it on. 
What did you want? Something deliciously fresh. Which could also be soup. Pretty sure it's not a ghost in a bottle, though. So, leave that. Uh, you wanted the potion, right? Not the po, the potion. Something blue that bestows health. Potion. This! Yes. On refreshing his tea, that works. Get tea. I don't know where I get tea, but it would work. Oh, hello. Okay. Definitely something happening there. Um. Drip, drip. To swing. Ah. Da da da. That do anything? <laughs> a fish. Is a fish fresh? Hmm. I'm gonna go back and see if a fish is fresh. Just running around collecting lunch orders. It feels like it, doesn't it? <laughs> I was expecting spooky times, and here I am, just running around trying to get lunch for mummies. Something deliciously fresh. Do you like fish? Yes, you do. Okay, right. <laughs> that's that's the clue for fish, is deliciously fresh. Fine, raw fish is delicious, apparently. This is a Japanese game, I guess. It's like cultural difference there. Very drippy here. Oh! Uh, this is where I get nuts. Oh, so maybe like if you do it in a certain order, you don't have to leave. Like there's there's a place to farm everything here. Maybe I don't know. Possibly. That'd be kind of neat. Pots. Well, you know what we need to do. Oh god, they're full of ghosts. Ghost pots. Who could have seen that coming? The spooky well had urns that I broke and it had ghosts in them. Who would have thought? Collecting lunch orders, but everyone is the vaguest about what they want, yeah. I'm sure October's had a day like that. Um. Leave it, leave me something small and creepy. Bugs, I have a bug. I got a bug. Oh, this. There's always someone who wants something weird on their lunch order. Give me some bugs. Whatever. What? You invisible? Invisible spiders. Great. Oh, hang on. I thought it was a door there for some reason. So this this is this is just this. Okay. Pop playtime! Pop playtime. I was watching Barry play um Link Between Worlds. Which is the sort of sequel to Link to the Past. I'm standing on the chest. <laughs> <laughs> it raised up beneath me. Brilliant. Um, which I have played, and I completely forgot that I played it. Um, but that game has a really cool system. 50 rupees. Cool. So I'm expecting there to be something else in here. But whatever. I guess Bugman was not essential. It is good, but it has a system which is really cool, where there is there are no like consumable items in the game or anything like that, so you can't like run out of bombs or arrows or anything like that. Instead, they have... Um, set these on fire as well. Instead they just have a magic meter and everything runs off the magic meter and the magic meter replenishes over time. And the entire game is built around that premise. And that's really neat! Especially playing this game and I'm like, oh, do I have enough things to do the fetch quest? I don't know. 
I lose all my stuff every time I reset. <laughs> That's worth a try. <clears throat> you! Leave it! Leave me a ghost! A big one! I got one! I did the boss! I got it! Ho! Tinky Winky Dipsy Lala extend their regards. Um. Ooh! Okay. Another bloody hand! Uh, more fire needed, maybe? This is a really weird dungeon. <laughs> it's different. It's new. <laughs> I am intrigued. Burn the spider. -Man. Glad I played Ocarina of Time, otherwise I probably wouldn't have worked that out. <laughs> more bugs. Can you stop clanging, please? I'm tempted to keep this going now, but I might run out of magic. Hands back. Hi, Hans. More of this? Don't want to run out of magic, but I also don't want to have to try and bring fire through there. Nope, still does nothing. Okay, well, it's always worth a try. And the bad thing about it is you need to rent or buy the items from a squatter in your home. <laughs> yes. And if you rent them, you lose them. Uh, yeah, if you rent them, then you lose them if you die. And if you buy them, then you spend a lot of money. But you're also not exactly hurting for money, and the game gives you luck. I remember that not being a problem. It definitely feels like it could be a problem, but I remember it not being a problem. Or I don't remember it being a problem. That's pretty more accurate. Then again, my bad memory could nullify that, so. Leave me something rich in calcium. Milk. You want milk. I do not have milk. But I can get milk if you want. I did not pause. Okay. Unless there's a cow in here, that'll be fine. There is still the room at the entrance. Love a Link Between Worlds though, it's fun, yeah. Having very recently played A Link to the Past, can confirm Link Between Worlds. Way better! Ah, oh, nuts. Specifically calcium enriched milk. Also known as milk milk. There are, actually, there are a lot of torches in here. I wonder if lighting them all does something. Do they stay lit? Which is interesting. But it's interesting to me. Um, what? But where? Oh, that was the entrance. Bugger. Have things gone out? Have things been extinguished? <laughs> and Bummy's back and I have to give them more things? Nope, nope. Okay, we're good. It saves progress. Hurrah! Yeah, I think this one. Oh. <laughs> Just about. <laughs> I think they probably intended you to fly over, but yeah, whatever. I'm here now. What do you want? Milk! Milk, milk. It's double the milk. How is it double the milk? We don't know. Yeah, double cream. Leave me H2O. I have water. I'm glad I brought that along. I brought it for beans, but sure. Ah, oh, this! That's uh, null milk, as it's known. Um, dude, what do you want? Hang on, I'm gonna set up an order form. Um, what do we need? We need milk. We need something hot. Hot and tasty. Like mugs. Um, give me something deliciously fresh. Another fish, we need another fish. Okay, we can go back and get a fish. There's, there was a fish somewhere. <laughs> a 
pack of the Maltesers if you're going to the shop. Why did I do that? I will remember that, and I will bring Maltesers if we need them. <laughs> Look at that. Skills! Fish! Literally around the corner. Well, it is behind a wall of spikes, so that's fair enough that you wouldn't go get it yourself. If there was a fish behind a wall of spikes, I also would not be tempted to go through the wall of spikes to get it. However deliciously fresh the fish may be. Right. Oh, I'm not wearing the mask because I'm wearing a different mask. Run! We're good. Deliciously fresh. Fish! Fish! Today's fish is trout telegram. <laughs> they want a car if you're going to the shops. JK. Oh, hello. You look fun. There's some traps there. What's going on here? More fish! There's fish right behind the door, mate! Bloody hell. Um. Fire? Ow. There was the fire, wasn't there? Oh, oh god, there's a hand. Get up! Get up! Ow! Well, that was rude. I mean, if you're already there. <laughs> the only time I remember these is when I was a Zara. And I could go bzoom and kill them. But I don't know if you have to be underwater to do that. But it's not looking promising. Um... That works as well. Did this do anything? Oh! 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 Hot spring water. That's what the guy wants. Now I have to get back to him really, really quickly, I guess. Not buying Maltesers IRL, you can't eat them, just being silly. I will I will make Maltesers you can eat. <laughs> they will be awful, but I will make them! Uh, where are they? Not there. Does anyone remember where they were? <laughs> this doesn't feel right. I have a hot delivery! You! I'm going to need to take this mask off. And this mask. Put this one on. Something warm that can melt ice and quench one's spirits. I completely forgot this was a mechanic in the game, but when I saw the steaming water I was like, ah! This stole my meat! There's like a bear, no remorse! Good! Remorse me no bear. What, what is- COW! MILK! Milk! Everything's here! Everything's provided for! What's in this room? How is there a tree underground? I don't... What is this room? This is a very strange place. But hey, here we are. Um... Got the grass. Oh, hang on, that was your food, wasn't it? Sorry. Um... Songy. Does the game explicitly tell you that you need to play this song to get milk from cows? Does it not read I don't know if it does in this game. Ooh, nice music reminds me of the pasture. That song makes me want to let go and put out a lot of milk. I'll give some to you. Milk will make you very healthy. Full of calcium. Milk, milk. Let's go. Da 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 da. Have a tradition in your family of failed homemade sweets and baked goods being better than if not failed. Yeah, you discover new things. Let go, yeah. Why, what's the problem? I'm definitely keeping track of where I'm going. Everyone knows Counts prefer Mozart. Mozart.
Dogs prefer bark. Um. Right. right. Why am I here? Through here was the steamy stuff. Uh, through here we didn't go yet, so let's do this. Oh, lovely. Four five. Four five. Excuse me. Ow. None of that. Thank you very much. Pots. Bombs! Oh, this is where you would get the bomb to go through the bomb door. I guess the blue potion was the entry requirement. Oh, and five beans. <laughs> cows down? What? Uh, it's real nice, and there's nothing with cows down listening to music and then getting super excited and letting go to produce it. <laughs> Look, cows are down to, to listen to music. That's just their way. Bugs there, cool. You want more bugs? Can't type when people are talking, you can write what they say. Well, that's weird, because about half of our interactions have been uh, in chat, so. Move! Move for something small and creepy. Oh, you want bugs? They're literally over here, again, they're behind a spike wall, I don't blame you. We come up with enough animal music puns to make an alphabet poster. Yes. Next question. <laughs> Google's hot single oat milk in my area. Right. There's a lot of torches there. Is this the last one? Ooh, this looks different. It's fairies. No, it's also night of the first day. That's incidental. Is that it? I mean, I'll take him. But I, I could, I could easily get these elsewhere. <laughs> At all? Anything else? Hmm. Was there an en entrance or exit I missed, maybe? This is just a little bonus one. Oh, it's very light again. <laughs> oh, yes, there's this one. Nanny or nonsense. Alright, do you want a fairy? <laughs> is that what you want? But believe me, something small and creepy. No, you want more bugs. But everyone wants bugs. Bloody entomologist. Right, release one of the fairies. Already made an endangered species alphabet post a few nice years ago. You better have more torture left in you. It could be a fun little group project. Everyone draw a different thing. I'll draw cow moats on, why not? Um Yes, bug is what I do. It's 
Small and creepy. Me! Did it land rather afraid that fairy phantom would be it. Um, no, this looks pretty important, doesn't it? I was shielding. Oh, there you Oh, magic. Nice. Uh, anything in here? Aha! Secrets. Money. Not fantastic. Hmm. I've been looking out for more secrets. Did I give milk to one of them? I think, have we done the milk one yet? I still have milk, but I know that there are multiple uses of milk in a bottle. Then about you, I've never drunk a whole bottle of milk. Also, I'm now back to full money. That's pretty good. <laughs> Did you give milk? <laughs> They're like a sort of blood donation, but the cows. You donated milk today. Pop, 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 pop. What if there was a, a benevolent king who let you live in their pasture rent free, but occasionally uh, they would allow you to volunteer some milk? This was the fight. Our evil vampire lord, who we all love, who likes drinking blood milk. Blilk, that's, that's that's where the cow is. I wish I'd drawn a map. Where milk? No, get off, get off. I know you want your milk, but get off. See, I'm a friend. Your milk? Leave it. Calcium. Milk. If we all donated some milk, we could let the moo dog go. Alas, I don't think that's something I'm capable of doing. Do, 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 do. Good thing. Oh, this looks important. Yeah, yeah, we're, do we're doing sun stuff, right? We want sun stuff. The secrets? Not secrets, probably just fire. Let's get some fire there. Uh. Our favourite tyrant that we will defend from all upstart know-it-all heroes and their prejudices. Exactly. Oh god, it's scary. <laughs> Why is it scary now? <laughs> it didn't look like that in the last game. <laughs> Make it a move fact. What have we got for facts? Fact, 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 fact. I will replace the first noun in the fact with cow. <clears throat> the Kentucky Cow Mining Museum. No. The Kentucky Coal Mining Museum switched to solar power in 2017. I don't like it. <laughs> I also don't like it. It's a spooky shield. Everything in this game has to be spooky. Spooky. 
Can I burn it? No, oh, happy. That's a very tarot face, you know what I mean? Ha, ah, suck it, Cole. Alright, can I can I also burn this? I can! Magical burning. <laughs> I do not like that either. Wow, this <laughs> Hazel did say that with a certain stress. Hmm. We're in the castle, this is where I was gonna go. Nice. Well, well, well. What a thrill. Da -da -da. What is this place getting trick music? <laughs> I mean, it's neat, don't get me wrong. But... It feels a bit Metal Gear Solid, like we've snuck in through the well. And... <laughs> Irrigation system? Maybe I have to turn the water back on. I don't know. Um, but there was a way in here. Oops. The camera is not friendly to people trying to go fast. Yeah, there was this block over here. You can get in through there now with the shield. Ding ding! Oh, do we have to do we have to fight ninjas? Ninjas! Oh my god! That's true, you called. Done. Looking at the shield now for the rest of the game will be delicious. Maybe 20 other games, including genre in one, yeah. There's a lot, this game is trying a lot of things. Not all of them are working, but it's trying a lot. Uh, what do you, what do you tell, tell me things? A hole can be opened. In the ceiling of a particular room in Akada Castle, but it cannot be broken without an explosive with incredible might. Okay, big bomb in castle ceiling. Get out of here, hot and tasty milk. All right. <clears throat> Guess we'll just leave this on and see if we come across anyone else who wants to give tips. Can we open the door from this side? Yeah. We just have to go in that way. Uh, ding ding ding! Master, you call! They're very tough. Very <laughs> gettable. In entering a kind of castle, there is another secret route apart from the well entrance. Is, is it is it that one there that I was just talking about? Might be, might not. Ding ding! Fight time! They're very bad ninja. By virtue of the fact that they show themselves before attacking. <laughs> The Rejeds and Akana were once members of the castle's dancing troupe. Ah, the dancing thing. Maybe. Possibly. Dancing troupe, eh? Have a dancing mask? That might help. If I wear that, will everyone just dance? More like re-dance. You are suspicious. Thank you. Grey mask looks like, looks like a tum tum tum. This one? Oh no, the one up top. I see. Hi, dancers! Well, that's a side I didn't think I'd see. They spin. Well, can I join in?
Oh no. They didn't like that. Ah! Now they're fine. They like this mask. Okay. They like this mask. That's good. I'm fine with that. There's this. Cool. Okay. Maybe bow. Bloodborne. Uh, could be either, I guess. Oh, yeah, frozen. Let's get to fire. Please don't take the Star Wars hood off again, <laughs> please. Thank you. Child, whoops, sorry. Nice dedication. If it's in professional ballet dancers, they will they will dance through anything. Doo -doo. Clockwise, I guess. Ow. Ow. The dungeon begins proper, I suppose. After our fun little fetch quest. Ding! Uh oh. Okay. Squimched. Uh, also playing Bloodborne right now, and you may be also black and red and bleakness. Hero has a cool cousin. Cousin? Oh, your cousin's a professional ballet dancer. Ooh, interesting. Sounds cool. Is this the muffin room? Yes. Climb. Yeah. <laughs> I can do that. I can do that. Well, that didn't work. Um. Changing camera angle does not help. Got it. Uh, squimch. <laughs> Yes, we know mugs. <laughs> now they teach the dancing, no? Oh, ow, can't stand on this. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> there we go, we're fine. We're good. Oh, mines again. Bloody mine. Well, there's a button over there. Press the button. Good. Now what? Can I hookshot my way out of this? Not you. Wait, 
from swing. not pressed there, so... Something else is afoot! Nothing on there. Yeah, I see you, I'm going around. I've got enough fairies with any other one. No. <clears throat> also, you've given in and gotten Henrik's outfit in Bloodborne because uh, you're weak when things remind you of Brotherhood of the Wolf, and it's very swooshy, and you love how everything moves. One, one of the biggest um, design influences behind the uh, armor in Bloodborne was like, hey, how can we make things feel like cloth? That was the, that was the big driving force there. Make everything swoosh. Oh, I can't turn. I can't turn. I can't. We're good. We're, we're, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. It's fine. Um, the issue is we still need to get to the button. How do we do that? I don't know. But we can get to the button. How do we get back? Swooshes are good. Good Bloodborne swoosh. Hang on, hang on, whoops. <laughs> That's on me. Um, let me entertain you. Yes. I thought there was a secret to it. Bloody secrets, honest. Don't, don't, don't. Can, you, can you lock off, please? Lock, lock off. Look at, stop. I, d I don't want to be locked on anymore. Well, I'm screwed. <laughs> Hang on. I just killed him. <laughs> I don't have to worry about it. Um. Oh, no, you. Leg, please. I have a limited amount of magic here. Nips came in the post today and you got four bags of them, so now you won't be running out soon unless you misplace them again. Hey! Oops. Ah, oh, I jumped over it. Trying not to use up magic. I'm using up life instead. Both Zelda's and mine. Oh yeah, the spider. I like that the game's like, hey, what what do you want to deal with? Do you want to deal with mines or spiders? It's up to you. Oh, I'm cursed. I'm jinxed. Ooh. Forgot that was a thing. Well, we can deal with our swords. Screw you. Do these still work? Yes, they do. Ding ding! I have to do this without a sword, that's fine. Unless...
Song of Healing, heal me. That's the Song of Awakening. <clears throat> What's the song of healing? <laughs> I'm Barry Scott. Uh... Nope, didn't work. Boo. Anyway. Yeah, that's me right now, thinking I'm clever. <gasps> Master. I have a, still have a shield. I can still use that. Thank you. Well, jeez. <laughs> I don't think that was intended. <laughs> well, you blew. I was jinxed. I can't use my sword. Well, I can now because it stopped. Regret it. Should take my bow, Flynn. To counter the rage of the king of Ikana Castle, burn away that which disrupts the light and shine the sacred rays on the king. It's a vampire. Nice. Yes, you can't just ask people why they're blue, dumb buddy. Belief or disbelief, rest will do. Okay, so break open windows, get sun. Sounds. Slow down. Um. Birds. Did the Song of Storms not fix that? Fix what? Your curse? Mm, no. It stopped the guy who was attacking me in a cave. <laughs> I was like, your curse or whatever. <laughs> whatever, you got a curse. Yeah, you guys. <laughs> and I just tried to lock on my Dark Souls. Oh, just one of these ones. Great. Now that I got me. But okay, now it's gonna turn into a big one. I'm gonna have to start all over again. Got him. Real good. Lots of money, but I can't get. Uh, right, so is there a way to get sunlight or something? Sunlight or some light? Anything on this pillar? Oh, uh, there's probably still something on the roof I shouldn't have jumped off. Nope. Dance! Dance! Show wondrous dance! Oh, I've got to do this again. Should have equipped the bunny ears, really. Oh, we're good. Ding! room with the jumping and the buttons are white. Thanks, game. Did 
it, it's not working now. <laughs> I worked before, why is it not working now? Boo game. No time for that. Find your new death spaces up against the radiator. Toasty tootsies. Toasty tootsies. What? Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> We're fine. We're fine. We're marginally fine. I'm missing any little fairies so far. Reminder, there is no jump button in this game. You just have to go at a certain speed off the edge of the thing and hope it works. Outside, round the outside. Mm, there's a bunch of stuff going on here, and I don't trust any of it. Nope. There's a button there, and I feel like that's my best hope. Buttons feel important, right? <clears throat> that sure is a mechanic. Take a little break from Bloodborne now. Next thing you do uh, is find Vicar Amelia, and you want to watch stream instead. Eat. You can meet them fine, Vicar Amelia, it'll be fun. Very slowly. No. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. There is a way back, that's good. Ah, maybe I can get in there using this. Maybe. Maybe not. No. Um, you know, worth a night, worth a go, worth a thought, worth a consideration. Oh, I know what I did. I know what I did. I know. I know. I know. I know everyone. Everybody. I know. Good news. In fact, actually, why don't we just keep going through the front door again? And have another crack at this. It involves me shooting you. Trying to shoot you. But...
Go back. I see you. Leave me alone. Got it. Boom. Got a piece of heart. I can play games. We. Okay, back into the spooky place. Because I believe... Well, I need to put this mask on so that the things don't kill me. Yeah, I've opened up the window here. Oh, you're back there. Don't know what that was. Oh, they don't like light. Nice. Well, that was fun. First try. I know. Oh, they're, they're back. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them go. <laughs> they're just having a little dance. Hit the thing in every single zone. <laughs> they spin! Oh god, not you again. Bloody jogging Gregory. Whatever your name was. Running around. Oh, okay. fine, I'll use a bow. My sword wasn't out, I wasn't attacking. <laughs> Thinks you're evil. Oh no! When did he come to learn this? I mean, what does he think though? Why is jogging Gregory? Hi guys. Um, why is jogging Gregory in three times in this game so far? Oh, you can roll into pots. You know. The roof. That's where the sun came in. We opened that up last time. I thought it was in the middle room, but. Should, should we have bought a big bomb? We should probably have bought a big bomb, shouldn't we? It, w it wibbled. What if, what if several bombs? <laughs> Game didn't like that. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, well. What do you have to say? Here, see? You always miss things like this. <laughs> Take a look, the rocks are cracked here. I've been trying to blow it up for the last minute. Right, let's go get a big bomb. Uh, you microwave the last nub of his yak ch uh, milk chew. Makes it puff up, but it has to cool down outside for 10 minutes. So all he saw was you take his chew from him, put it in the microwave, make it smell amazing, then put it outside. You horrible person. This. Nasty. Nasty individual. I spent a good proportion of today playing with Longboy um, because she brought in a mouse and I didn't want her to feel like I was taking it away from her so I sort of played with her until she was distracted enough that I could take it. <laughs> Ooh. 
Be as Garon. Those dancers outside of the clock tower, are they going to become those corpses? Maybe, one day. I mean, we all are one day, but that's incidental. Is there something else? I wrote down something else. Oh, it's another place to use a bomb. I think I'm going to need to carry one. Um... Goals. <laughs> Honestly, if I'm that spry and supple as a corpse, I'd, I'll consider that success. Um... Yeah, this is slightly annoying. You're gonna, you only find out that you need one of these bombs once you've been in the castle. So you have to leave the castle and come back. There is no way of not doing that, unless you just bought one speculatively. Well, we can go in through this entrance now. With more spinning, dancing corpses delights you. Yeah. Not that spry alive, exactly. <laughs> Kershwing! Open the thing! Sorry, I was not close enough. There we go. We're in, everyone. Now, do I have to fight Jogging George again? Wait, George was someone. George was a fish, wasn't it? Uh, jogging Jeremiah. Already there. It's been. Always be wearing this mask. Yeah. Take a certain amount of pleasure in that. Those enemies can be a right pain. Hey guys! No, we do not have to find Jeremiah again. We're good. Um. Guys, you like the bombs? Cause I got the bomb. By the way, sorry, quick quick explanation. If my cursor is over on the right hand side here, you can use Z and R, as you can see on the left and right, to move uh zeft and right. So you can left left and right. Like that. So you can just press buttons to move around. Right? The thing is. If I'm over here, and then I do left, the cursor is now on the right. If I press right, it's on the left. So if my cursor's on the right, and I'm like, okay, I need something on the left-hand side of the menu to the right, I press right, my cursor in my brain is still on the right-hand side, so I press left, and then that goes back. <laughs> the, the idea being is that this is like a cylindrical menu that you're just going round, but that's not how my brain thinks about it. So that if you ever see me go like this, if you ever see me go right, that's why. Because I'm trying to go to this menu and then move to the left from the right-hand side because the cursor was on the right-hand side, but it's now on the left-hand side because the entire menu's moved. I get the idea, it's confusing. Anyway, bomb! It's a bomb! Zeft and right, the two genders. Well, I'm rarely right, so I'm going to assume I'm Zeft. Ah! <laughs> what our entrance? Hi guys, how you doing? They spin. Cockadoodle Loo, it's the second day. Closer again. Sorry, sorry, so oh my shield. Do not know how to control it. Guess what? What? Another avocado seed! No, I'm sorry, sorry. Sorry. I mean it.
Evokadoos. Arrows will be important. As will magic and being alive. Ah, 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 ah. Being alive. Yes, okay, so we've got windows with light coming in. And some pots. If they come down with wooden shutters, maybe we burn them with fire? Trying to plan ahead. Maybe. Nuts might be good. Cool, let's go. And get another tomorrow! Keep you updated. Ooh. Oh, insolent one who has brought the... My servants have fallen namelessly before the light that guides you. However... Eh, the darkness which my servants live is, after all, fleeting. You shall see with your own eyes. All skeletons have to sound like this, sorry. Just what kind of thing through darkness really is. <laughs> well. It was curtains, turns out. Works just as well. Yeah! <laughs> That's a good face. There's a thumbnail. Oh, I'll do the other one for fun. These doors do not open. They do, with fire. Combat. Visa has been numbed. Excellent news. Wow. They sound like strange birds. Wow, that's not accurate at all. So I've, I've got to sort of trick them by leaving the light and then going back in. Ornstein and smoke. Um, have good after non relaxation. Ye. Post pizza. Uh. Procrastination. This is a weird fight. I haven't actually tried attacking him, to be honest. <laughs> Well, hitting the belly in Danish, that's a great name. Okay, this works a little better. You just got in the way. <laughs> a crawl was not with you, good sir, or madam, or person. Skelly Bob. I will call you Papyrus. <laughs> oh, they saw me go in the light. <laughs> this is kind of fun. <laughs> they run away. <laughs> I don't know if this is all I'm supposed to do, but it's fun. Okay, hit with the sword also works. They are back. But do I, do I have to kill with light? Not entirely sure what's going on here. I 
What about you? Are you interested? Um, what's that a timing? It doesn't seem to be doing much, does it? Oh, the body, the body. See. No, it doesn't reach. thing is hard. Got it. Think. Okay, cool. <laughs> Kill them all and take their skin. Their skeletons, Doc. They don't have skin. <laughs> is this a similar affair? It won't budge. Ah. Camera, please. Ooh, ooh. Seem to be the same sort of thing as the skelly bobs, so. <laughs> this is chaos! <laughs> Again. I don't know what to do about this. Bees! We need to do bees and music. Mu B flat. My face when I suggest that. Oh. Luckily, I have fairies on my side.
Got him, the music stopped. Hello. Ah, uh, you're blocking me. Get out of the way. I can still get him. Lucky you. The reason he beat us is because he was a feeble. Don't blame this on me. What? Just trying to say, try saying that again to my bony face. Feeble. Feeble, 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 feeble. Shut up already. Hey, don't look at me. I was once called the best swordsman in all of Akana. The greatest swordsman in all of Akana, you feeble. Try your weapon. I'm telling you to draw your sword. Ow. What is this conversation? <laughs> Will you stop? What fools? Haven't you begun to understand? The kingdom being ruined and us left in this state? Is, isn't it petty? Little battles like this that have caused it? Bit of a pause there. It's fine. Believing in your friends and embracing that belief by forgiving failure. These feelings have been vanished from our hearts. If we still had them. It all happened after somebody thrust open the doors of that stone tower. You who bring light into darkness, I am the king of Ekana Kingdom, Egos du Ekana. I'm the head of him anyway. The spell binding that has been cast upon us was broken by that light which you carry. To return true light to this land, you must seal the doors of the stone tower where the winds of darkness blow through. Not mad, I'm just disappointed. But Stone Tower's an impenetrable stronghold. Thou hundreds of soldiers, not thousands, I'm over-exaggerating. Hundreds of soldiers from my kingdom would not be able to topple it. It is far too reckless for one to take, such on, a, take on such a challenge. And so, can you do it? I grant you a soldier who has no heart, one who will not falter in the darkness. Remember this song. It's kind of nice, I like that one. Woo. Yeah, oh. oh. That's where that comes from. You learned the Elegy of Emptiness. It's a mystical song that allows you to shed a shell shaped in your current image. Yeah, this is the Ben Drowned thing. I didn't know it was from this. A podcast based on the QI form? Huh? No such thing as a fish? By playing the song while wearing masks to assume different forms, you'll be able to leave up to four empty shells, one for each form. Okay. This soldier who has no heart is your twin image, a shell of yourself that you will shed when your song commands it. What a party trick, yeah. <laughs> On my kingdom, shine the light of justice. Well, that's creepy. Works with all of them, doesn't it? Well, let's have a look. <laughs> Well, I need to play the song, don't I? Um... No, that was cute. No, he was a little cutie. Oh, so I think it's implied the dead Deku is the Deku Butler's son. Okay, so it's like, so who was who's who's the human one or the Hyrulean? Well, 
Yeah, this is the guitar guy. That makes sense. Um... Oops. Link? That's not Link. I think we met this guy as a ghost, right? The... the... The 2D from Gorillaz. Well, the gang's all here. No, no, look, please, look. <laughs> Thank you. What a gang. Literal dead people we stole. Yeah, I don't know who this was. Does, does this imply that this isn't our body and we stole it from whoever this was? <laughs> Gang's all here. One of the things that makes people think he's actually dead and in purgatory in this game. I mean, from that, it's fairly reasonable. Um... Well, at least we now we know how to depress buttons. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Thank you. Ah, all right then, let's go to the stone tower, I suppose. There's an implication there. If they're all the souls of people whose... Oh, I've still got the mask on. People whose bodies we're inhabiting. Who is... Ben. I do not care. And there's the mummies. Actually, are they interested in the mummy mask? Hey guys, you're right. Bring them. Those inside our friends. Bring them. Oh, they just want their friends. Oh, that's nice. We're inhabiting Link's body as Zelda. Yes, there we go. Jeep's got it. This is the wrong place. Bye. Up we go. I like how they force you to be a Goron to get in here, but a Goron can't jump, so you got to take it off immediately. Okay, right. <clears throat> so now, I, I don't suppose it matters which version goes where. Stranger, stranger, stranger things have happened, I know. Okay, there's uh, the mysterious Link, <clears throat> whoever that was. Oh god, there's going to be so much menu switching. Um, <laughs> Is this the water temple of this game? <laughs> Not literally, but figuratively. Now they want bombs for me to... Did that happen again? Good luck. Oh, those are things. I don't know. I don't remember this place too well. <clears throat> I'm hoping it's brief. <laughs> well, then again, this might be the place that has the boss in it, right? Um. Hmm. Should we be doing this now? I don't know. Uh, more swapping around. No, 
time to manap. Thank you. Uh, do these buildings imply a big modern city? It, it implies puzzles. <laughs> this was before the era of like, yeah, everything should make sense as though like it was a place that was originally inhabited. Uh, do, do I have to do all of these? Really? Not a puzzle, it's just time consuming. Um Speaking of puzzles. Speaking of puzzles. Oh okay, so they want the three forms down here and then the human form upstairs, that makes sense. I don't know how blocks move in this place. Hmm. Now thinking about cube. <laughs> Any excuse to think about Rodney Mackay. Oh, it's this one gets teleported over here. The cube that was there goes back. I think all of these have to be depressed for things to ha things to happen. Okay. <clears throat> oh, cube. The film. Cube. A weird horror film. That's all about maths. And being sliced up by lasers. Next mask. Uh, cool. The boots game. By that you mean throw one boot into the cube and watch. Uh... Wait, hang on, this is... You're not, he you're not heavy enough to... How does this work, then? Oh, yeah, no, I'm an idiot, sorry. Yeah, I know how it works. E. See, when I think of Cube, I always think of the uh, experimental short film by Jim Henson, which I think was the last thing he made prior to The Muppets. Which is very strange. Um, yes, I can hook shut up there without, and then and then change afterwards because I'm a fool. Immediately after setting down the thing, I don't. The the puzzle that I thought this was was not actually a puzzle. Um, actually, it might it still not might not be a puzzle. I didn't look around to see if there was anything. Like, there was something up here. What's this? Another button. Buttons, bloody buttons everywhere. Not a drop to drink. Great. Alright, what does this do? I'll admit, don't know. So what were the three buttons down there for? I thought I thought it would be like you do the three at the bottom and the one at the top and there's this... Hmm. But you can only actually depress three buttons in this place because the Deku's not big enough to do four, so... The Deku form's kind of pointless here. But I guess I better do this one as well. This place might be time consuming, everybody. Looks like the cube Jim Henson's about going insane, hallucinating in isolation just based on the screenshots. It's a weird, surreal thing. Someone wakes up in this white cube and they're all alone, but occasionally parts of the wall open up and people come in and act as though something's happening, but the person has absolutely no understanding of what's going on. 
And they're like, why are you here? When, how can I get out? And they're like, mm, something to do with jam. Um, I think it's something like, you know, you, you've got to find your own exit or something. This is this is our exit. You've got to find your own. Yeah. Very 60s. It was, it's interesting. I remember watching it and thinking, that's interesting. Then again, I like the 60s. Um, <laughs> but this should not be surprising. There's an owl that was on this. Did Henson do drugs? I mean, it was the 60s, so maybe. That's what I wanted to do. Oops. If the movie isn't long and quiet, you're not a skeptic. It's not quiet. And it's not long. I think it's a short film. It was just a little short experimental film, and it's just real strange. Um Hi, delicious strawberry man. How do uh, that didn't do what I thought it did. Thought it would have. We can get over here now, I guess. Oh, are these maybe to get back? Oh, that might make sense. Hey guys, how you doing? That's the thing. Um, might be to get back to me. Strob. Once again, hope you're okay. You call it. Strob goes by many names. Deus Vault being one of them. Um. horse being another <laughs> they have shared the song um for me susan if you like i'm fine thank you susan um what am i missing i am missing can't quite get to that But from here I can't, maybe I can from here. Oop, just about. It means nothing to me. What's this? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. No. Well, what are you looking at? Yep. Yeah. You're gonna look at something, fairy. Explain. Delicious strawberry Susan. Okay, well, three more. Owl! There's an owl! There's an owl, owl, everyone! Uh, would this be a good place to stop then? Probably. Looks like we're about to go into a dungeon. Drink. Delicious strawberry Susan sounds like a delightful drink. Yeah. Sounds like a nice sort of smoothie. And that's a temple. Look at that. That's a dungeon if I ever did see one. It's going meh. Maybe Louise? I mean, Thelma and Louise. It's all something to do with cars, isn't it? Um. Well, okay, we can teleport to this now. So. It's 
one metal looking dungeon. I thought it looked like stone myself. Stone tower, good. Bad driving. Yeah, I think I think that's you know for once a two-hour stream has actually worked out quite nicely. <laughs> Trying to get back to having two-hour streams for games and stuff because a we're doing games twice a week. Uh, uh, well, we're doing this game twice a week. Um, and b it's nice to have. I keep, uh, it's nice to have um, some time in the evening to work on other stuff like highlights. Missions, maybe I don't know. Oh, they're during the day. They're, they're day hours. Day hour stuff. Work hours. That's the one. <laughs> day of the first dawn. <laughs> the hay from Fred Dust Lawn. Speaking of drawing, do you all think stylus nibs will be damaged by being in the fridge? Depends what they're made of, really. I think probably not. <laughs> That's good to have a clear deline delineation between work and not hours. Not work hours. Yeah. You. I don't know why I always savor this one, but it feels reasonable. We save. Ooh. What a stream that was. We actually did something for once. Swoop. To book in for each stream. Yeah. So I'll get on with stuff. I actually do need to get on with a bit of crochet, actually, for my uh, present for my mum. His birthdays okay occur at a very specific time, don't they? Um, gotta do the bins now. Uh, boo. I think our bins were today. <laughs> Brain memory doesn't work. Um, it's written down. It's fine. I have to remember. The one the bins. Uh, yeah. Here we go. Uh, it's because you don't want to lose them again. So if you put one of the bags in the fridge, they'll be safe. Maybe. Or you could have a little box on your desk that is all the safe things. Just whenever you think I need to keep this safe, you put it in the little safe box. <laughs> Maybe we can call it a safe. I don't know. Um, you did, and then you lost the box. <laughs> They weren't safe, no! Well, I don't know then. Maybe a little book where whenever you put down something for safekeeping, you write down where you put it. <laughs> and then it'll get moved and you won't write it down that it got moved. Um, so that's probably not a great idea. Uh, attach a blinking LED to it. <laughs> On top of the fridge? Perhaps. I mean, it depends how big your fridge is, really. Our fridge is quite small, so. The LED thing might be necessary, but then you're relying on battery life, so. <laughs> there are many faults, many problems, many issues. I cannot... Future-proofing is a whole thing. There's a whole field of people who are like, how can we, we future-proof, like, 
radioactive waste sites? Like, in, how can we tell people in the future not to go near this place? Because <laughs> this stuff lasts thousands and thousands of years, and by that point, we have no idea if language will be a thing. So, how can we communicate with somebody who has no concept of language and tell them, don't go here, it's bad. So what I'm saying is you need those people to help communicate with future Christy <laughs> to tell you where the nibs are. <laughs> Nib earrings, yeah. mushrooms, mushrooms. Badger, 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 badger. Fill the place with clowns. The clowns will die. Some of them will, anyway. What if, in a thousand years' time, the clown is the most attractive sort of thing anyone could possibly imagine? Tastes change. But well, you keep the mushrooms in the fridge, yes. Is there anything about mushrooms growing in Chernobyl? No. They're feeding on the radiation and growing towards the epicenter of radiation. Oh. Did anyone make a, a mushroom kaiju? The one thing that actually w <laughs> seems like it's gonna happen, they did this, the one thing they didn't think of, no mushroom kaiju. I was always really intrigued by the Chernobyl thing. Everyone kept on talking about the elephant's foot. I was like, what's the elephant's foot? What? That's, that sounds really weird and strange and spooky. What's the elephant's foot? And it's just a bunch of radioactive material that went bleh. It kind of looks a bit like an elephant's foot. Um, <laughs> yeah, sounded cooler. Um, the fewer clowns, the better. What about Cuthbert? Cuthbert's not going to last forever, hopefully. Um, what what if uh, what if the <laughs> the reward we get for beating hell is immortality? <laughs> You're never, you're never allowed in hell, which means you can't die. <laughs> Mushroom kaiju, the only kaiju that goes squeak when you bonk it. Eee. It's just a big old, like, like those mushroom friends in Dark Souls. Just real big. Flopping around. Eee. Trying to think of a... Mm, nuclear fungus pun. Got nothing. I got nothing. I don't know an awful lot of fungus names. So somebody else will probably have to um, help with that. Uh, but yay! Hope everybody had a lovely time. Hope you enjoyed. Um, I will be back. There's the mushroom cloud, yeah. Classic. Um, yeah, maybe you just call it cloud. <laughs> Maybe the big mushroom kaiju is just called Cloud. Um, but yeah, hope hope you had a grand old time. Um, I, I love Jeeb in chat. It's just consistently being like, <laughs> keep on track. You said you were going to stop. <laughs> stop getting distracted. I appreciate it. Um, but yeah, have a lovely time, everyone. I'll be back tomorrow morning with some more February doodling. And then Saturday morning for probably more of that again. Um, and then Saturday evening for Rogue Trader, etc, etc, etc. Um, and tomorrow evening, it'll cheap time perhaps, maybe, maybe not. We'll see, don't know. Have fun with the bins! Exciting. I've also got some drying to sort out. It's all good. Um, have a grand one. Hope you look after yourselves. Cheap time! Cheap time's always a good time. Yeah. Speaking of cheap time, ahoy! <laughs>